you is, um, and I noticed that Kathy Brain, obviously, did not have to talk about the right, but this is what we use for our, our Joint Citizens Advisory Committee. And the people listed below are typically just invited to the meeting, and the people on the top are the actual Citizens Advisory Committee. Here's the agenda for the meeting that's a week from tonight. It will be the second meeting for this school year. And uh, if you remember at the joint board meeting, there was some discussion about some of the comments that had uh, been submitted. So if you look at the second, third page, one of the things at the last meeting that they talked about was the strengths. And I did send to people who did not attend the meeting, if you remember, those same questions to them. And so I separated the questions that came from people who mailed them in versus questions from people who were there for the discussion. So under strength. There's a list of things, and down below it, it says comments sent in after the meeting from members that were not present. And there are three more bullets. And then improvements, and again, some comments from people who were present, and then questions, the same thing. Um, so we'll have uh, this second meeting for this year in the um, library of high school in Lakeview at 7 o'clock tonight. It was here last time. The okay, joint sorry. board meeting is okay. here next time. And that is number 7406. 7406, that's right. I forgot what was in You've got a packet that looks like this from the district um, of Central Springs. And Central Springs and East Back County are doing a presentation on Thursday at school board convention about low grade sharing. So you can see what both of the board packets look like. Um, Chris will be doing a presentation along with Chuck Rutherton. Wow. So maybe Shirley and, and John Smith can come and cheer or boo or something. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sometimes they don't like that they <laughs> uh, Talking points, that other piece that I gave you, I think that it, this could be sufficiently confusing to you when I look at it. You've got like maybe even three copies of something. But, um, basically, it's just some things that sometimes come up when we get ready to work at board meetings and then we get ready to do a meeting. Something like this. Just some updates or things to remember and uh, just related to board leadership. So that packet shouldn't be that thick, but like I said, you've got maybe three copies of something and two of some other things. Um, one of the things that I did give this uh, one of the Robert board meeting uh, members, so this is just as we head toward negotiations, we talk about early retirement and um, staffing for next year. Um, if we look at our K-8 for next year, that would be based on our absolute two-day enrollment. Um, you can see that total in kindergarten, we have 61 students before the enrollment in 10 years. You can take a look at what numbers look like. Um, our numbers in the high school are in the 70s, and there are three classes that are either in the 70s or 80s, and one class that's in the 60s. So our biggest classes um, are really on the top end grade-wise. You know, um, that 78 and 6th grade next year, and that 86 and 8th grade. Um, so just food for thinking. I know the two education associations have been meeting on negotiations. And so I'm going to need to start to get a couple board members together and start working on what our strategy will look like as well as what uh, we're going to should be doing as far as potential cuts to staff or whatever. I think an across the board cut this one will be hard. And that will be hard for everyone. Have you, have you gotten any sort of information or notice? Uh, I heard the only thing we've received is basically what the legislatures are saying is, uh, you know, if it's not, if it's, the money's not tied down, uh, they're going to take it. Um, but on the cross board or whatever, no, not really. Someone at our superintendent's meeting made the comment that they heard that correction facilities had a free time hiring. No, that's not true. Okay. We have a whole lot of programs going into law this year that we don't have any money for. We've already overspent. That's typical. So, way overspent this time. 
Um, I've spent some time talking with the education associations uh, this school year about the teacher college money. Um, I'm saying that I'm great for them. Um, our teachers are averaging $4,851 per teacher this year. And, um, you know, just for them to understand and keep reminding them where that money comes from and that can come out of one pocket and into another legislatively pretty easy because there's supposed to be a third step to that for staff. And I don't know, you know if that will be there. But just to help them, just to remind them that that's, it may be in their paycheck, but it's not coming from Sacramento Lake Yager and uh, general fund. It's well through money for us. So. But I think negotiations are going to be very hard this year. So.